it through the lens of Linda McCartney, the wife of Paul McCartney. Her photographs now being exhibited in galleries in London and New York and will soon be out in her second book of photographs. This one simply called Photographs. Linda McCartney is with us this morning in our London studio. And good morning. We're going to be talking to you and simultaneously showing some of the uh, photographs from your book. Beginning with this question, is a photograph better, Linda, if the subject is someone you love? Not necessarily. Why do you favor photographs of people you love, though? What, what as a photographer, do you find in them? Oh, I think it's easier to photograph people you know, but it, you get magic moments from random minutes as well. You know? you don't, I like photographing anything. Sorry. You don't identify this one by name, but is the little girl in the coat your daughter? Yes, she's now almost 20. And she's a photographer herself, I understand. Well, actually, she's a printer. She's learning to print photographs and make silk screens and things like that. And what about the little gremlin in the kitchen? Which one's that? Oh, there's a little fellow wearing a mask, I hope. Oh, a mask, yes, that's my son. And when I, he was littler. You know, what's interesting about that photograph was the, were the details. Was that uh, your kitchen? Yeah, that's um, kitchen up in Scotland. The heart Pretty of your funky. home? Is that the heart yes. of your home? Absolutely. You do your best work in front of a stove, I understand. Well, I love cooking, it's true. Home, family seem to be extremely Im important to the McCartneys. Uh, one of your, your photographs features a portrait of Paul looming lovingly over a, a little girl. Is he a good father? He's a great father, yeah. And why do you like that picture? Um, I don't know which picture it is. It's his portrait, and I assume one of your, your daughters. She's looking a little despondent. Sitting is that in front her of sitting it. on the floor? Yes, indeed. I took that photograph actually in New York before Paul and I were married. I had photographed the Beatles and I needed to use up a roll of film so I put the picture on the wall and sat her in front of it and just took some pictures. You know the contradiction about some of your work is that it is extremely personal your photographs are and yet you are an extremely private woman. How do you explain mm. that contradiction? Um, actually there are a lot of personal photographs that I won't put out but they're good photographs. I don't know, I think I've, I've never been a celebrity till I got married, and I, I just value my private, quiet life. Not all of the uh, photographs of children in, in the book are yours. One of them I identified as, as Julian Lennon, 1967. Once again, this was taken before you were, were married. Legend has it that little Julian Lennon was the inspiration for one of the best songs ever written, Hey Jude. Can you confirm that? Well, so I hear, yes. <laughs> I, I, no, well, it's true, actually. I think it, the song was already on its way, but I think just Julian and what he was going through at the time helped inspire it. Inspire it. You made your reputation as a photographer uh, by taking pictures of, uh, of rock stars, and you have uh, a couple photographs of, of the uh, writing team of Lennon and McCartney. When were they taken? They, they appear to be working. They were taken at Abbey Road Studios doing the album Abbey Road. And you might remember there's a medley at the end. And I think Paul and John were just putting different songs together and enjoying it. Actually, we made a mistake and looked at uh, one of the most interesting photographs in the book, Mick Jagger. Why mm. do you find rock stars, other than the one to whom you are married, so compelling? Well, I'm a 50s girl and I love rock and roll and I love music and when I like somebody's music, it's great fun to photograph them because you, you can get deeper, as deep as the music gets. Would you like to be a professional photographer again, working full time? Uh, I couldn't work full time. There are too many other things. I do work full time, but not professionally. I take photographs every day. But if, if I took a job of photography, I'd neglect really my responsibilities you are the wife of, uh, of of one of the richest men in the world and yet you are a, very much a, i get the impression a working wife and mother mm. you take home life very seriously is it true you cook for six every day absolutely but i mean my values are on money are, are very old-fashioned i don't think money brings happiness i think there are other things that are much more important in life Linda Eastman McCartney, thank you for sharing your work with us this morning. Thank you, Jane. It's been nice talking to you. And we'll Bye. be back in a moment with Jean.